here's a snippet from an amazing panel of experts talking about computer vision artificial intelligence. You're helping so many different players get involved with AI right now. Tell us who they are and why they're coming to this field. If you look at software, software is at a place where as long as you have some level of connectivity, you have access to the best software, the best code out there people are sharing, and that's great. With hardware, it gets very complicated. We wanted to make sure that people in different parts of the world where they do not have easy access to this cutting edge hardware are able to get their hands on this device and then let's see what they do, right? It's the imagination that will explode when, when you have these devices in the hands of people around the world. It's actually being used by many other folks and many other developers, whether they're working in, in a 50-person engineering team or a five-person team. Now is the time to not be encumbered anymore by hardware access or proprietary software or not having to worry about interoperability and in, in the different tools that are available now. It's not only the, the 1% that could have access to, to the hardware to the cutting edge hardware or their software, but it's now um, kind of proliferated across many different industries and not only in academia anymore. Now enterprise developers, companies that are facing these problems in say uh, manufacturing facilities or medical imaging, radiologists could have access to this, to, to have this, uh, this form of human-like perception in different types of problems all over the world and and in every industry. And I would actually add one more thing to that stuff is its ecosystem. You can see it here in this panel where it's OpenCV and Luxonis and Microsoft and Intel working together. And that is really the power of ecosystem go, uh, bringing all of these tools together and creating that interoperability.